Hey guys and welcome back to another Infinite Flight video training series. My name is Mark. Today I wanted to go over what it means to be flight of two, flight of three, uh, and so on. Other than the confusion between knowing the difference between left downwind and right downwind, I think that the flight of phraseology is probably the most misused in infinite flight. Ready to taxi. November 73 Mike Delta flight of two. Taxi to runway 27. Contact tower when ready. Taxiing to runway 27. November 73 Mike Delta flight of two. Now guys, it is very important that everybody understands uh, what this phraseology means and to use it in its proper context. Uh, today, I'm uh, gonna be doing some patterns uh, with another Spitfire in a formation and there's only two of us so I'm using flight of two. San Diego Tower, November 73 Mike Delta flight of two, ready for takeoff at runway 27, remaining in the pattern. November 73 Mike Delta flight of two, runway 27, cleared for takeoff, make left traffic, cleared for takeoff, runway 27, November 73 Mike Delta flight of two, now, as you can see, there are two of us that are going to be doing the patterns today, which is why I'm using flight of two. Um, I am the lead aircraft, so therefore I will be the one that handles all the ATC communications. The other aircraft is dialed into the same frequency, uh, but they are simply just following me. Uh, there's no need for everybody within that flight to communicate with air traffic control. It just clutters the frequency if you're going to use the flight of phraseology. Now, if you are doing a flight with friends uh, and there's several of you that are going from one airport to another, uh, but you're not going to be necessarily flying information, uh, then don't use the flight of phraseology. Now, if y'all are going to be flying in very tight formation, uh, then you would use the flight of. And the one that takes off the first or the one that's in the lead is the only one that needs to communicate with ATC. This is something that is very uh, frustrating to a controller when they see a single aircraft that says in their call sign flight of 10 when they are the only ones that are flying. Uh, the controllers need to know the accuracy of that and the simple fact that they need to plan accordingly within the pattern for traffic flow, so on and so forth. Now you can see within the red circle on the map that there's only two of us, which is why I'm using the flight of two. And I am the only one that's communicating with ATC, not the second aircraft. Now, if we were to split apart, uh, then we would change our call signs uh, and remove the flight of and just use our regular call sign where I would be November 73 Mike Delta. Uh, the other aircraft would use just their call sign, which in his case is November 19 Whiskey Mike. If you want to communicate with ATC individually, that's fine. Just leave the flight of phraseology out of your call sign uh, and fly everything as normal. But for today, you hear that I'm the one that's communicating with ATC, not the second aircraft. And you can also see how close uh, in proximity that we're flying. Now, if there's going to be a mile or two separation between you, uh, you and another aircraft, do not use the flight of. Just make sure that you're using this phraseology properly. Uh, it does not mean the amount of flights that you've made that day. It does not mean the amount of virtual passengers that you have in the aircraft. Uh, but it's meant for the number of aircraft within a flight formation. And the lead aircraft is the only one communicating with ATC. I hope this has cleared up any confusion that somebody may have about how to use this phrase properly. Uh, make sure that you do subscribe for more great tutorials here on our YouTube page, uh, as well as check us out on Facebook and Twitter, and also on our new Instagram page. Guys, my name is Mark. Thanks for watching. 